What is up guys and welcome back to the GTR build series. This is going to be part two of the engine bay restoration. And as you guys just saw, I went ahead and took off the valve covers on the actual RB26 because today we're going to be painting these and that little middle portion that covers up the plugs, we actually sent that off to get done in carbon fiber. So you guys will see that very, very soon. But, but for right now, we're going to be paint stripping the valve covers right here. They came in black and we got a little bit of overspray on them. But like I said in the last video, we're paint stripping these anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You guys are going to see the color that we're actually doing it today i'm so excited and so it looks so good in the engine bay but let's get to it i'm going to be using the aircraft paint remover this stuff is pretty serious and very very toxic so you got to be careful not to get it on your hand really get it on anything else we're going to be spraying it on the valve cover it'll start bubbling up and then we're going to use like a wire brush or maybe even a pressure washer to start getting all of this paint off and then it's going to be pure aluminum and it's going to be sick so let's get started This is one full thick layer of the aircraft paint remover. As you guys can see, this stuff is pretty, look at that. Oh man, it's already just, my finger is taking off the paint. So this stuff is pretty crazy. I'm gonna let this soak in just for a little bit longer and then we'll take the wire brush and start uh, scraping off all the old paint and see a full aluminum cover. So we're looking good, everything is all bubbled up. We're gonna use the wire brush right here and we're gonna start scraping off all of the paint. This is gonna be so satisfying to watch. Check this out. Oh my God. All right, now this one is completely stripped or as much as I could possibly do. And I'm gonna pressure wash it to get all the excess off as you guys can see. It's pretty grimy and this stuff like seeps through the gloves. So I've used like three new pairs of gloves because this stuff burns, but this is gonna be sick. I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this and hopefully there's nothing left after I'm done pressure washing. So let's give it a try. In the finished product, we completely stripped both of the valve covers and they look amazing. I actually really like them with when they're pure aluminum like this, but we're gonna go ahead and let these sit outside for a little bit, let them dry, and then we'll pull them inside and we can start the actual painting process. Finally a sunny day to be able to do some work. We are back at Entice Motorsports with Art right here and we are going to be finishing up part two of the DIY engine bay restoration on the GTR. So previously what you guys saw was me stripping down pretty much the, uh, the RB26 cover right here which is completely done. The only thing that wouldn't strip are the cam is the cam cover right here. So we're going to be using a sander which Art has right there to completely strip this. And we're going to be painting this. Yes, we finally got a few hours of sunlight on Tuesday. So Art took his time and actually uh, painted the engine bay in the R32, which I will show you guys once we get done painting this stuff. I want everything to be done before I show you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started painting this and I'll show you exactly what we're going to be using. So here is the actual paint that we're going to be using today. This is a Honda blue and it's really called Agent blue or however you say it, but uh, Art's going to go and pop this open. We're going to take a look at it in the sun. Oh, that is a nice color. See it? Oh my God. Look at right here. That looks incredible, dude. The flake in there. Ooh. Just imagine that in the engine bay, along with the aluminum in the black. So I wanted to go something a little bit different. As you guys know, uh, everybody pretty much when you have an RB26, you do the R34, like cherry red color. I wanted the engine bay to pop a little bit, especially with the blue, having the aluminum block, engine bay, glossy black, and then you're gonna have the RB26 and a, a couple of other accessories around the car yeah. with this blue. Don't forget all the little titanium goodies that you yeah. got coming. So this is, oh yeah, oh yeah. And another thing, this is gonna match really well with all of the titanium piping from Vibrant that we got. So this is gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, 
All of these are sanded and good to go. Mask off everything that we needed to mask off. Now we're gonna get the paint ready and it's time to start. We just laid down two coats of the epoxy primer. It's looking very, very smooth and really good. Now we are ready for the base coat, which will be the actual blue. Um, we're gonna let this dry while we go ahead and mix up the Honda blue that's in there. Art's doing that right now. And he's cleaning out the paint gun, so it's all good to go. This is gonna be so sick. <laughs> Paint has been mixed for the RB26 cover. I don't even think the camera picks up how good that blue is. That's a sick color. Oh, there it is, right in the sun like that. It's almost exactly the titanium blue. Let me see the stick again. Damn, bro. That is gonna look so good. This is gonna go into the gun and then we're gonna start the layers on the RB26 cover. So about four or five medium coats later, the valve cover and the cam cover is completely finished. Oh, the blue looks so amazing. So this actually isn't 100% done just yet because we are gonna lay down some clear, but this has to sit and dry for just a little bit. Before we shoot the clear, I wanna show you guys how awesome this blue is. I am so stoked on this. This is gonna pop so well in the engine bay along with the silver block and the black in the actual bay itself. Our covers have dried. Now Art has went ahead and mixed all of the clear coat. So now, we get, now we're actually gonna be able to see this color really pop and in its final form, it's gonna be amazing. Once this is done, I'm gonna go inside and show you guys the GTR engine bay as it sits right now because it is perfect. Crushed it, dude. Now with the clear, all the flakes in the blue actually pop. Oh my God. That is 100% what I wanted. This is, dude, with the titanium and all the bolts and everything, this is gonna be insane in the engine bay. So now that you guys can see this blue and get an idea of what it looks like, we're gonna let this dry and let's go inside and show you guys the GCR engine bay. Not only did Art take out literally everything and in preparation for this build, but he was actually able to get into the deepest depths of the engine bay without taking the motor out and actually painted this thing the OEM black. Uh, I can't remember what the color code was. It was like J17 or something yeah. like that. So this is an actual Nissan OEM black that is this color that we sprayed the bay. Check that out. Yeah. The flake, oh man, it is money. Now you guys can see what the engine bay looks like along with the painted block. So I think it's time to reveal and take out the take out the paper. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Start. So now the black with the silver block, this engine bay has completely been transformed and we didn't have to do any work to take out the engine bay. This is like the perfect 
DIY engine bay restoration because it's all at home stuff that you guys can literally use at your house without having to actually lift out your engines. I am 100% happy with how this came out. Imagine how sick this engine bay looks right now, but with all titanium piping, single turbo setup, matching blue wastegates, like this thing is going to be absolutely crazy when the turbo kit is finished up. Now that we actually have the engine bay set up, I mean, we're just gonna let it dry for a couple of more days, especially with uh, the RB26 cover being painted. But next week, the next update that you guys get on the GTR will actually be fabricating and starting the full on turbo build. We have finally finished the R32 engine bay restoration. It came out incredible. So what you guys are seeing on the screen right now is the complete finished product with the RB26 covers on. We are missing the spark plug cover because that is still at the body shop getting laid in carbon fiber, but you guys can see all of the colors working together. The aluminum block, freshly painted black bay, as well as the blue, all goes really, really well. I am stoked with how it came out. So you guys also have to remember that I have tons of new hardware that is gonna be titanium as well. It's coming in and we have all titanium vibrant piping. So now, now that the engine bay is done, it's completely dry. We are actually good to go ahead and start fabricating and start putting things back into the engine bay. But with this whole virus and quarantine thing going on, uh, it's been a lot slower than I had anticipated. You guys saw that we literally, we have all the parts ready to go, but I can only be at the shop as much as enticed is at the shop since they are doing the fabricating and building the actual kit for me. So uh, it's going a little bit slower with all of this happening, but I'm trying to get it done as fast as I possibly can for you guys. So bear with me. Uh, I think this week we actually get to start fabricating the wastegate dumps and even maybe the downpipe as well. So we're working out, we're working out the details and trying to get it done as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys are really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed the little DIY uh, engine bay restoration. This is something that anybody could do, especially just in your drive. Driveway. We didn't have to pull the engine. Granted, we did take a ton of stuff out of the engine bay because we're not going to be using a lot of it. This is definitely something that you can do in your home garage with some paint and stuff because it came out absolutely incredible, as you guys can probably see. So, with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, definitely do that because it does help out the channel. I will see you guys in the next update. Peace out.